Hello friends, this is a case of acute appendicitis with the lump formation and phlegmon formation and uh, here we have entered inside with the umbilicus and after going inside we can see the right iliac fossa and here it is a lot of inflammation. This is the base of the appendix which is uh, uh, cut, it is not uh, very much necrosed but the tip of the appendix and the body of the appendix is fully inflamed. It is completely adhered with the small intestine. Its lump has been formed. You can see a lot of phlegmon. And this lump is edematous, but it is not mature. So it is good to perform at appropriate time. And you can see the left side is the appendix, and right side is a small intestine. And with a traumatic grasper, appendix has been separated from a small intestine. And you can see it looks like a fecolith which has a lot of uh, swelling. It is completely thrombosed. If you will not perform for few hours, it may get perforated also. So this is separated. Now we will hold it by semi-traumatic grasper and trying to lift it up and going to the base. At the level of the base also there is a lot of adhesion and inflammation. So the major appendix can be separated with the harmonic scalpel in those situations. So now this is the anteromedial traction is given and here this is harmonic scalpel which is separating the major appendix. Harmonic as you know is one of the most advanced energy sources for the appendicectomy. Because it is not a current, it's a ultrasonic wave and it's a vibration. So it's a harmonic vibration, so it doesn't create direct coupling, capacitive coupling or insulation failure. And you can easily separate it. This is the base of the appendix. Here is the tinea coli and these are the phlegmons which is formed. And at the level below there is ileocecal junction. So base of the appendix has to be fully escultanized then only you can tie a knot here. So this is the tinea coli and near tinea coli this is the base where the major appendix is being separated. Now again going to the opposite side, again slowly the major appendix will be dissected. Appendicular artery will be inside this lump so you have to be careful. The teflon of the harmonic should be always kept towards the appendix so that the vibrations should not do the knocking of the appendix and slowly you can separate the major appendix. So left hand should keep on giving the anteromedial traction and the right hand is separated completely. Now we have reached up to the base of the appendix and it's clear now. The base of the appendix is identified and after that you can use a simple extracorporeal misra's knot and you can apply so it's everything is clear. Inflamed appendix is up but base is absolutely fine. Good and uh, now this is a misra's knot you can hold it and hang it over that. The tip of the knot pusher should be brought to the base and virtually you should try to ligate the base near the cecum and automatically it will go to the junction. So it is going and you will just pull it little tracks and down and ligate it so a nice dumbbell is formed. And this one knot is more than sufficient and you can apply very nicely and then cut with the scissors. After that you can cut the remaining of the appendix with the harmonic. Advantage of cutting with the harmonic is that uh, mucosal also will burn, fecal matter get disinfected and the mucosa also will burn so there will be no chances of mucosal of the appendix. So 5 millimeter of the stump is left and now the appendix is transjected from the base. After that we are just touching with the tip of the harmonic, the remaining mucosa so that it will burn. 
and it is over. After that, you can just put a suction to take the fluid out over this fossa. This is minimum fluid, and it is bleeding. That is a very minimum, maximum 2 ml. And you can do suction irrigation. And after that, we will put some betadine. This is the appendix which is out. And we can put the betadine over the waste that is a 5 ml. Betadine will be injected and then again it will be sucked out. So that the remaining inflammation or any infection will be taken care of. So, but we do not leave the betadine there. It should be sucked out completely. And after that, we will change the telescope. This is 10 mm telescope now. Now the 5 mm telescope will be introduced into the left iliac fossa and we are using a high quality endo bag. This is the endo catch from the covidian and that has a metal ring and self retaining endo bag. So you put in the endo bag and the telescope is right now 5 mm and the appendix will be taken out through the umbilical port. So after opening the mouth of the appendix outside you can just put a ovum forcep and you can take the appendix out. So this is a ovum forcep taking the appendix out. So thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day. God bless you.